Welcome to the shadow side of gaming, the lies of Call of Duty, and where the truth is obscured by the code and the algorithms and AI. Today in this video, we uncover the deep integration of Packet Burst in Black Ops 6 and its sinister ties to skill-based matchmaking. That is correct. Packet Burst, the glitching, the hitching, the inconsistent connection that you have in the multiplayer games is in fact a method in which skill-based matchmaking can nerf you mid-round and is also affecting the output and the outcome of your play. You have felt it, right? The moment your game stutters, your shots go astray, and victory slips away from your fingers, my Call of Duty Elite Gaming stud muffin athletes. You think it's just lag. You think, oh, the packet burst, these guys' the server sucks. Why have we never had packet bursts like this in previous Call of Duties, or the amount of packet bursts we have now seems to be increasing, yet they seem to be having better servers. We supposed to have better connection. Connection's number one, we were told by Call of Duty Activision. Remember that, guys? In the white list, the white papers, the whole divulging of skill-based matchmaking, they told us, they said, hey, you Call of Duty elite gaming athletes out there, you bunch of simp fast microtransaction buying nerds. It's all just in your head. Connection's number one. So why is it that Packet Burst seems to be such a big fucking problem, huh? Well, I'll tell you why. You think it's just lag, but that's not what's going on. Here's where it actually gets a bit sinister and dark, my friends. Packet Burst is not random. It is calculated, designed to adjust not just network performance, but your match outcomes. This is where skill-based matchmaking, SBMM, steps in. Not as your friend, but as an asshole stabbing you in the back and having sex with your mom. What? Skill-based matchmaking in the past was meant to balance the game, to match players of similar skill in the lobby by balancing the lobbies out. But with Packet Burst now and the skill-based matchmaking they have, it's not about balance anymore. It's about manipulation. This is straight from Google AI. This is straight from Grok on Twitter. This is actually out there. If you ask them about this, they will give you this answer because they have access to every single thing on the internet. They can swipe the whole internet of all the information and this is where you actually can get this from. This is not fake news. This is not clickbait. This is not rage bait. This is real. Your performance can be subtly altered, ensuring the game remains competitive but at what cost? You felt like you're stuck in place no matter what you do, you don't seem you can improve. That is the algorithm at work, ensuring you're always at the edge of your seat, always just a bit too close to being beaten, just a little bit too close to being that great. And when you are too great, you get smacked in the face with the packet burst and the skill-based matchmaking optimization, quite frankly, just hold you back. You got a little carrot dangling in front of your face, like, oh, next game I'm gonna do well. And the packet burst, the skill-based matchmaking working in conjunction, and I'm tell you something here this is something i'm not even joking about because this whole video is being dead serious and i want to tell you something it is common knowledge i've been telling everybody that i am joining session on dummy accounts and playing in really easy lobbies and since i've started doing that i have had zero zero packet burst when I'm playing without the skill-based matchmaking, when I'm circumventing it and playing in easy lobbies by two boxing and joining on session on the easy accounts and just playing against normal people, I have had zero. Let me say it again for everybody in the back who ain't hearing it. I have had zero packet burst since playing Black Ops 6 and using the two boxing method. That is an actual Fact. Packet Burst is not about network efficiency. It's about control. Control over your game, your skill, and your experience. They decide when you win, when you lose, and when you're supposed to be challenged. And Packet Burst is all part of that skill-based matchmaking narrative. So next time you're in a lobby of Black Ops 6, remember, your fate is not in your hands. It might be in the hands of the code, designing every move, every leg, every victory. The game isn't just for the game anymore, it's an orchestrated reality. I've been saying this for years and years, but now that I can see the other side of the skill-based matchmaking algorithm and see what actually happens when you are not being manipulated, it is so apparent. And like I said, when I'm playing Black Ops 6 and getting into the easy lobbies, I have zero packet burst zero manipulation there is nothing happening in the game that is stopping me from destroying everybody beating everybody's ass halfway through the matches i start then seeing the skill based matchmaking kicking in if i start doing too well i see it starting to spawn me into places where i shouldn't be spawning with four guys already pointing their guns at me i see my bullets starting to do less damage and i start to see the packet burst kick in 
Now I've also been seeing people saying in the comments section they're enjoying Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And I'll tell you what, that's amazing. I'm happy for you. But you need to know that you are being manipulated to be enjoying your experience. You are being manipulated so that you are having a fun time playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So you know what? You buy more microtransactions. You buy some more DLC. You buy the season one battle pass and you make a bunch of money for a bunch of shareholders at Activision. And you're thinking, how does Packet Burst have to do a skill-based matchmaking Ghost of Vader? Can you please explain to me how there is a connection between those? Well, in a Call of Duty video game where the time to kill and the decision making between you and the servers is milliseconds, hundreds of a millisecond, any little connection, disconnection, any kind of lag spike, any kind of disconnect between you and the server will give the other people an advantage because when your bullets aren't registering, when you aren't having crisp hit detection, when you aren't having crisp connection, when the game can take away your millisecond response time by giving you a lag spike, that gives an advantage to the other team and vice versa. And that is why Packet Burst is tied to skill-based matchmaking. And these people who say they're having a good time Everything is being contrived. There is nothing in Call of Duty that is authentic. And the packet burst is not an authentic problem where, oh, how do I fix my connection? And you go online and you look and it says, oh, you need to make sure to run a wired internet. Oh, you should make sure to clear your cache. Oh, you should redo shadow bull blah 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 Bullshit. A bunch of excuses because none of it works because it doesn't matter if you're on internet, thousand megabytes per 14 giga chads, one point. 21 gigawatts lightning fast you are wired you could be sitting right next to the server you could literally plug your ethernet cable right into the call of duty activision servers next to where all the dead are because they're a bunch of reptilian shapeshifters and it wouldn't make a difference because packet burst is nothing but a manipulation of the skill-based matchmaking of the eomm and we are all getting bent over well, I'm not actually, let me carry that because you know what? I'm outside the matrix, brother. I'm like Neo, I'm followed the white rabbit and that white rabbit led me to the two box and I have been awoken. Jesus light has shined down upon me and I'm trying to shine it down on you like I was God on top of Mount Olympus with Zeus high five and banging Aphrodite because we get weird and I love you guys, but I want you all to know the packet burst is not a connection issue. There's nothing to do to fix it. It's another form of the skill-based matchmaking. I'm the ghost of Vate, bringing you the truth, the facts, keeping a real pack in the steel. We're the best, better than all the rest. But last and really most importantly, and not least, stay black. Question authority. Don't let the honky crack rep till it shapes. After the bell, we start breaking until seven levels in the job to draw seven. They're up at Bohemian Grove, worshiping Al. Throw this flat. The moon landing was fake. Alice Jones was Bill Hicks. The floor is turned the frogs gay. White men. Bring it down. <laughs>